Joining us right now is one of the stars from the ABC drama Detroit 187, Sean Majumder. Thanks so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Good morning to <laughs> you. Good morning. We're talking about Giggles and Gloves today. Giggles and Gloves, a show happening uh, on the 12th uh, at MGM Grand, 8 p.m. We are going to be doing some stand-up comedy, some music. I'm going to be hosting a night, and uh, the proceeds are going to two awesome charities. Uh, one is Mittens for Detroit, which was founded by the amazing Aaron Cummings, uh, who I I think she's going to be the new mayor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She's been doing a lot of stuff around town. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah. And uh, Crossroads, which is a, an amazing outreach downtown. And so I visited them over the holidays, and it was so cool to be a part of that. And, and we brought them together, and this show is going to be great. We've got uh, stand-up comics, uh, a couple of guys who actually work on 187. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not Michael Imperioli. Relax. <laughs> uh, uh, we have actually Michael Imperioli's stand-in. Oh, okay. Paul Elia, he's going to be doing some stand-up. Charlie Newhart is one of our extras. We have Kimberly, who's one of our makeup ladies. She's going to come up and do something fun. Martin Butler, Trevor Smith, Leslie Ann Thompson, local comics. They're going to come up. John Michael Hill, who plays Detective Washington on the show, he's going to drop some beats. He's a little musician <laughs> with a band that's supporting him. The JMH band, maybe, now. We'll just call it that. Very nice. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. And there's not only going to be a $10 ticket fee, but there's also going to be donation boxes there for if you want to drop food, toiletries, things that they need down at Crossroads, um, you know, uh, clothes, men's clothing is something they need, and also there'll be mittens for Detroit boxes as well. That's so gonna, And I'm hosting, and it's going to be a blast. We know you're a funny guy. You said you've been doing stand-up for a while, and yeah. along with the acting? Along with everything. You know, in this industry, you've got to do whatever you can yeah. to keep your head afloat, you know? you got to, you know, and I started doing theater, way, you know, I've been performing since I was a little kid, really, and uh, it was only like in the last 10 years that I realized, oh, wait, well, I can make a living at doing that. Whereas before, I was always put in a corner, please stop, <laughs> you're driving me crazy, uh, and now they're like, that's my boy! Yay! Uh, it's quite cool. And, and yeah, I've done some stand-up. I've traveled across the country and, and, and done lots of stand-up. And L.A., when I moved out there, it's been just acting pretty much out there, you know? Let's talk about Detroit 187 real quick. You guys have been, like, rock stars in our city. How much has Detroit meant to you guys, and how much do you uh, like living here? It's fantastic, you know? I, I grew up in Newfoundland and Labrador in, in Canada, and there's a similar energy to here because Newfoundland's always been beat down economically. They've had to fight just to get any attention. And Detroit used to be the king city of, of the United States, and then, you know, with this whole last 50 years, it's amazing. But there's the same kind of pride and the same kind of power passion for Detroit amongst all Detroiters, you know, most Detroiters that we've come across. And that's why there was all this sensitivity in the beginning, like, oh, a show about murder, and you're going to make us look bad, you know. And, and I get it. I understand that, because Newfoundland's very similar. I love it here. It's been amazing. And uh, the show has been fantastic. And people really need to understand that the product that we're making, you know, is one, it's, a, it's a top show. It's a really beautiful you know, character-driven, relationship-driven. It's not just another procedural. There is something really unique about our show, and we really hope it keeps going. And we're going to know probably in the next few months about whether it gets picked up or not. My gut is good. good. I, I'm good. cautiously optimistic because, you know, with the tax incentive here yeah. in Michigan, that helps people. You know, you have to understand, we're... we're we're really doing a lot to, to hire locally. It's good for the economy. I think it's going to bring great things to Detroit, especially if we come back, because we have such a really good show. Well, we've loved having you guys in town. We'll all keep our fingers crossed. Exactly. About, uh, fingers crossed. Another <laughs> season. Let's hit on the event one more time, a night of giggles and gloves, taking place Saturday the 12th from 8 until 10. Tickets to the 18 and up comedy show are just $10. Again, the proceeds will benefit Mittens for Detroit and Crossroads of Michigan.